what did you think about the place? I gave it a try to see what like it was first. Mm. And what like was it? Some bad, some good days and some bad days. Mm. Tell me about your day-to-day sort of -day routine. What time would you have to get up in the morning? Uh, you can get up between seven and eight. And what, what did you do after breakfast? We used to go to our uh, work. I used to work in the crop mm. And what did you do there? I used to answer phones and deliver letters to the wards. Right. So that, that, was, that was quite a responsible job. Mm-hmm. Mm. I loved that job because I used to work with June Tree and Morris here. Mm. What about um, what other kinds of work? Did you ever work anywhere else? I worked in OT. I worked in the gardens. That's about mm. the three jobs I worked. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you get on with the, the staff, the, the nurses? Some staff was good and some staff wasn't. Mm. Did you have any, sort of, what you would call, friends among the staff? I had a lot of friends here, mm. some of them. Among the staff, but amongst the nurses? I, like, I used to like Fiona Roberts and Bill McCune and all them, mm -hmm. the ward they used to be in. When you were, were working, Margaret, did you get paid at all? When I left here, uh -huh. we used to get a fiver. Mm -hmm. That was only for your pocket money, and that was all. Right. So you were working in the Chiropodus or the living? Uh, yeah, I used to answer phones and all. Uh -huh. And that was what you, you got a week, was it? Mm hmm. Uh, now, Wednesday, we used to get paid. Right. They used to write the forums out on a Sunday. And we used to get paid on a Wednesday here. Mm -hmm. What would you do with your money? Spend it, mm. as usual. <laughs> what on? Cigarettes and all. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarettes mm. and that, or ginger. Yeah. Did you ever manage to save any? For a goat. Yeah. Yeah. That's not worth it. You were in Villa 8. Um, can you describe the, the wards? How many beds or how close the beds were together? Well, the beds were like too near one in era. Mm. You could have like it moving with them all. Mm. So it was, how, do you know how many beds were in the, the wards? There were 16 on one side and 16 on the other side. Mm -hmm. But 32. Mm. There was. You wouldn't have much privacy? Or... No, you didn't have privacy to mm. when you were living with 32 crowd. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where did your clothes come from? If you're thinking away back to the, the beginning when you came into the, the hospitals. Sometimes I, my mum gave me clothes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get clothes for the sewing room. Right. So did you have sort of Underwear that was your own, or that was a. Uh, no, I used to wear the ones for here. Mm -hmm. Oh, big, oh, the big ones, big bloomers and that we yeah. used to wear. Mm. So, did you could you go and choose your your own or whatever, or were they given to you? They they were given to us. Mm. So would they be there for you in the morning? They used to uh, go in or they used to go in. And put the end of the clothes in that in our beds. Mm. And would that just be anybody's at all in the ward? Empty water. Uh -huh. And what's that? What you said uh, knickers, would that be vests and brassiers as well? Vests and pants uh -huh. at the right. time. Right. Did you, did you never wear brassiers? Was it always vests? No, vest? it was always yeah. vests we wore. Uh, was it? Uh -huh. What about uh, outer clothes? Outer clothes. Mm. Used to wear, used to get clothes every day, like dresses or skirts or trousers mm. or that. Again, would that be your own or would that come from a? Came from the hospital. Mm. Mm. Did you never have a chance to choose your own sort of colours or? No, we mm. just gave it out. Mm. Did you? Did you feel bad about that at all, or did you wish you could? 
choose some nice clothes. I would like to choose some. I felt bad. I would like to choose some nice clothes. Mm. No wearing the old fashioned stuff. Mm. Was everybody up the road felt rotten about that. Probably mm. had to wear it everybody else's clothes or the hospital clothes. Mm. We used to all go down the nice and do all the scrubbing when you want punishment. What would you describe as bad? What would be the reason for you being in punishment? Because I was only a wee toddler. Mm. I used it? to be wild as what I was. Wild? Aye. And what would you do when you were wild? We used to put me into my room, into my bed. But what, what would you do? Would you try and run away or would you break a window? Or... I wouldn't break a window, I would Aye. run away if I was. Aye. And did you? Did you run away at all? No. Did no. You, did I wouldn't run away. No. Did you never feel like it? I felt like doing it when I was here, but I wouldn't. No. No. I just felt like running away. No. Tell me again about the punishment that they put you on. The punishment? When I was in Bali eight years ago, we used to get short night guns, mole skins. We used to go down on my knees and sit out, do all the scrubbing, and sit out in the corridor and used to put, have a punishment table for your meals and all that. Mm. And you weren't allowed to sit inside with other crowd. Mm. And you said something about um, scrubbing the floors with short moleskins? Mm-hmm, with short night greens and moleskins. Mm. Why, why was that? Just because we were in punishment. Mm. And would, would you have no other clothes on? No, it was only the short night and some old skins mm. we used to wear. Mm. And you used to get used to get five fags a day. Mm. What, what what did you think of that as a punishment? Didn't I like it at all. Mm. And that would just be for what been cheeky or mm -hmm. what? Mm. Didn't I like it at all. Mm. Were there other forms of punishment? No, that was the only one. There's only one that you got. Did you see any other forms of No, no, no one I was here. Mm. Didn't see any of them, have only you, saw the one. Have you heard about anything else? No. Yeah. Yeah. Were you in any uh, drugs at all? I was just on the same ones that I used to be. Right, what's that? And that was the gato I used to be on, or the marrow. Right. Did you feel them having an effect on you? Sometimes I used to, and we used to get proud of high jags. Mm. Did you get proud of high? I got yeah. it. Yeah. Used to get it when I was, that day I got a bad, bad phone call. Mm -hmm. What was that? My brother mm. died. Right. And that's when I took a, a, a turn and they gave me some proud of high to calm me down. Right. What kind of turn was it? Did I've not one for, it was, I've not one for about two years. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. because I get bad news. Right. That was the last I had one. Mm. The, um, the Largactyl and the Melero, would that be every day you were taking that? I used to get one at eight o'clock, 12 o'clock and six o'clock. Mm. Mm. And did you feel them having an effect on you? So, some used to, f the metal used to affect me when I used to sit outside in the sun. Mm -hmm. What would happen? I burnt a lot with the mm -hmm. sun. See if I sat outside long, I would burn dead easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely the metal affects you when you're sitting outside. Mm -hmm. And what, what, why were you taking Largactyl and metal? I've been on them all my life. Mm -hmm. I've been on the tablets since I was six years old, right. and I've been on them since then, right. just to try and help me to right. calm, to calm down and yeah. And do you feel that that's something that you know you you need to do? Mm-hmm. I'm only on one now. Right. Did you have a chance to go outside the hospital? Outside. To go down the village or into Glasgow? I used to tell the staff where you used to go. Mm. Did you have a card or anything? No. no you just 
you were allowed just to... Alongside I told him where I was going, mm -hmm. they didn't bother. Right, so you were well trusted to... Mm -hmm. so well trusted to go and come back. Mm -hmm. So did you go into Glasgow or what? I used to go... I know a time I went into Glasgow or Kirke. When I had the money, that was the only thing. Mm -hmm. I used to go messages for the staff. Did you have a boyfriend when you were here? No. Yeah. No. I think I would go with them in here. Oh, get up a country. Mm -hmm. It was a nightmare here. Mm -hmm. No decent men? No. I used to go in and get a cup of tea in the Bowling Green with Sammy Ray. Mm, but more just a... Friendly right. person he was. Right. Did, uh, did you ever think about, you know, meeting a guy and getting married? No, no, no. way. I wouldn't it? get married. Didn't fancy any of the boys here. Mm. <laughs>